What's going on on my YouTube? It is I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys and crossing another movie off on my 100 movies bucket list. This is a comedy that I had never seen before and I'm excited to share my thoughts on this one as this is a first time watch for me. In today's video I'll be taking a look at the 2004 comedy Mean Girls. Katie Heron is a hit with the plastics, the A-list girl click at her new school. Until she makes the mistake of falling for Aaron Samuels, the ex-boyfriend of Alpha Plastic, Regina George. So Mean Girls was released in 2004, and ever since its release in 2004, Mean Girls has gone on and become a comedy classic in the years to come. And even close to 20 years later, there is a huge fan base for this film. People love dressing in pink like the Mean Girls or the Plastics. There's a lot of love for this movie. The film was directed by Mark Waters, and I've seen several of his movies over the years. He's also directed the 2003 version of Freaky Friday. He's directed Ghost of Girlfriends Past, and most recently he directed an underrated film on Disney Plus that I really enjoyed called Magic Camp. So he does have an impressive track record. Tina Fey wrote the screenplay for this film, who also co-starred in the film, and this film was based on some of Tina Fey's actual high school experiences. So that makes the film very relatable to her, and I have a great respect for her for writing this movie. Mean Girls was a movie that I had heard about for so many years, but I never felt the urge to watch Mean Girls. I didn't think it was a movie that would click with me. The type with the generic title, I didn't think this would appeal to my age demographic or anything like that. So I never watched Mean Girls as a kid or all these years later. It wasn't until it's placing on the 100 movies bucket list where I'm like, okay, I'll give Mean Girls a chance. And I eventually gave Mean Girls a chance and wow, I wasn't expecting to enjoy this movie as I did. Yeah, the movie does tell a pretty basic story on paper where it involves these different high school cliques you have a main girl that's trying to fit in and then her butting heads with like the bully character and stuff. You get all that in this movie and that's something you see in a lot of high school teen comedies of this nature. But I think what elevates Mean Girls above some of the others that I've seen in this genre is that this one feels more relatable. The writing is a lot smarter and it's even subversive as well. Like it flips all the tropes on its head like with mean girls it takes all like the high school clicks and stuff like you have the pretty mean girl trope with the plastics and there's other clicks within this film as well and this film does a good job of showing you know the damaging effects that that can do to people pretty much because it leads to more bullying it leads to more labeling and stereotyping and stuff like that and so there's always these bubbles that these people are in and they view other people differently because of the cliques that they are in, and it just leads to more friction and drama within the environment. And so this is a movie that definitely has a mean streak going for it, yes. There's definitely a lot of surprising adult humor that I wasn't expecting. It's still a PG-13 comedy, but some of the jokes there, I'm like, woo, it got a little crazy at times. I enjoyed like the camaraderie with the cast, especially between Lindsay Lohan and and Rachel McAdams. I was not expecting Rachel McAdams to be this funny. And she was honestly the funniest thing about Mean Girls playing an absolute mean girl character. I thought she did a great job of playing the pettiness and the selfishness of her character. She played it so well. And I gotta respect Lindsay Lohan in this because I recently saw her in the Disney film Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen, which had similar plot threads in both movies. But I like Lindsay Lohan a lot more in this because I think her character is a lot more relatable. She's someone who's struggling to fit in with a new environment. And she slowly becomes more popular. And she does make some mistakes along the way. And she learns the lessons and it's a lot more believable. With Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen, she was an annoying brat at the start. And it was hard rooting for her as she journeys along in that movie. And that's the big difference I have. With Mean Girls, it's a far more relatable scenario. And the writing was a lot smarter. And I greatly enjoyed that movie a lot more. In fact, I did enjoy the cast in this whole movie. Like, the Mean Girls themselves, the plastics, 
all had their moments to shine. We got Lindsay Lohan, you got Rachel McAdams, and the other two members. One is Amanda Seyfried, who apparently this was her acting debut. She went on and had a pretty good career after this, and she was pretty hilarious. She was very ditzy, her character was, and it was hilarious, her character saying some of the dumbest things, and it just made the character so entertaining. The other one is played by... Lacey Chabert, she later went on and became like the mascot for like Hallmark movies. So if you're a fan of Hallmark movies and you want to see an earlier role with this actress, yeah, watch her in Mean Girl. She plays a completely different character and she's absolutely hilarious. Tina Fey also stars in this movie as the math teacher. She had some funny moments. She's obviously naturally talented and funny and she does have some funny moments in the film. Mean Girls is a movie that I wasn't expecting to like. There's a lot of wit in this movie. I love the smart humor that's placed without the film. And it does have a really good message at the end about where you shouldn't label people and just look at people for who they are. And I think that's a really good message to have, especially within the high school world when it's easy to mock and judge and bully others. And I think Mean Girls does the message very, very well. Honestly, it's a movie I wish I watched back in my high school days because I would have related to the message a lot more. And I still really enjoy the movie now as a 25-year-old man. If I ever have teenagers, I, yeah, it's a good movie I'll show them. So, yeah, I definitely enjoyed Mean Girls. It's a great little comedy, one of the best comedies that I've come across this year. I was watched this also for my 25-plus Films Challenge with comedies, and this is one of the best comedies that I have discovered for the first time in 2021. Yeah, there's a couple jokes that did fall flat for me, but who cares? It's still a fun little movie. I enjoyed the camaraderie between the cast. I enjoyed the overall premise. Even though it is a basic premise, what elevates it is the smart writing and the great message that it has at the end, and the cast all delivers as well. So, a really good comedy from director Mark Waters and writer Tina Fey. Mean Girls is definitely a must watch. I don't know if I'd say it's one of the most essential comedies of all time, as I think there are better comedies than Mean Girls, but it's still a great movie in its own right, and I still respect this movie for what it executed and what it set out to do. So at the end of the day, I'm going to give Mean Girls a 4.5 out of 5 stars. And on the 100-point scale, it's getting an 86 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Mean Girls as part of my 100 Movies Bucket List series. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out some of the other reviews I've done on the 100 Movies Bucket List where I'm reviewing all the movies on my 100 Movies Scratch-Off poster. Plenty of movies that I have seen before, while others that I haven't seen before. It's a great little mix of movies, and I'm enjoying this series so far. I'm over halfway done, and I'm excited to share more movies within this bucket list series. I think after the success of my recent watch party with Psycho, some of the movies that I have previously seen before, and I have older reviews on my channel of, I might do watch parties on some of these movies, so be on the lookout for some watch parties coming to the channel soon on some of these movies on the 100 Movies Bucket List. I'm excited to experiment with more of those. So if you're a fan of movies, feel free to click the link in the description below to check out my past reviews on the 100 Movies Playlist, and don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of future videos in this series. If you've seen Mean Girls, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. The subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!